Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So, got some super exciting resin today. This is the first time I'm ever trying a resin pour with inks. So, this company, Resin Pro, they are based in Italy. They're a relatively new company, but they are spreading across Europe. They're launching in the UK and they asked if they could send me some of this product. Of course, hello, I said yes. So excited. They also sent me a few extra bits. They've sent me two sets of resin. So, I've got this one here, part A, part B, measurable by different ratios. And I've also got some part A, part B, one-to-one -one ratio, which is going to be really helpful as well. They also also sent me a few delicious delicious items so I have got some mica powders over here are powders from their own company so these are resin pro mica powders super excited to try those and they also sent me some pinata alcohol inks which I have here so excited they sent me a petri dish because I did say to them I'd love to do some petri dish um, work with some alcohol inks so they sent me one I didn't have one so happy happy they also sent me some gorgeous molds these ones are super cute little button molds oh they're so cute anyway they've sent me those ones they've sent me some gorgeous gemstone molds and they've sent me this one as well adorable with the eiffel tower and a bottle of perfume looks like my chanel but yeah absolutely gorgeous so that is what i'm using today i did go out and i did purchase some other containers here they are just silicon baking containers for future projects and also i got some confetti stars and lots of different shapes but this is all from resin pro so thank you so much really looking forward to getting started let's go so before I mix the resin, just to let you know, you will need a um, mask if you're heating your resin up. Yeah, so just be safe, do it in a well-ventilated area. But this resin that I'm using from Resin Pro is an A, B component, most of them are. It's really not a tricky one, this is a ratioed one. So for every gram I measure on A, I need to calculate what I need for the B. And I'm going to measure my part A, times it by 60, divide by 100, and that's it. That's all you have to do to get your B. So I don't know how much I'm going to need. I'm using my kitchen scales. They're not ideal. You should get really good electronic ones if you're going to invest in resin. But yeah, we'll see what these, these have worked for me so far. So I'm going to use them for this. So with the A, part A, I'm going to put in 200. And that means I basically need 120 of part B. Before I pour it into my petri dish, I'm going to stir it for about, it says on the instructions, two to three minutes, but I'm actually going to do five just because I want to make sure it's completely and utterly blended together so, you know, it, it actually sets properly. So you just want to go as slowly as you want. Don't speed it up because that will just create thousands of air bubbles. So that is well and truly stirred. Five minutes is a long time, you know. So I'm gonna pour it in and I'm actually gonna use the advice of Artsy Mad Woman. She actually advised to use a heat gun when using silicon because apparently the flames can melt your, they haven't melted so far for me, but I'm gonna use her method to get rid of the air bubbles. There aren't actually that many air bubbles in here compared to some. I'm zooming, sh really, really zooming in for you guys. So I'm going to pour all of that resin into there. Wow, that is seriously clear. There's not a single bubble. It's almost mirrored. But yeah, so the fun begins. Now, I did get some advice on this. Resin Pro actually thankfully sent me a little bit of instruction on how to use these inks because never used them before. So they suggested you put your colour then followed by white, followed by colour, followed by white. And then it's up to you how many layers you do. But if you are doing this, there is a ratio. You don't want to put too much into your resin for the danger that it might not set. I 
Okay, so I'm actually going to leave it there. I'm hoping it's going to turn out as stunning as it looks on the back. And yeah, stick around for the demolding. So the next one I'm going to make is just a really fun plaque for my craft room. And I'm actually going to stick these down with a bit of UV resin just quickly because it's a quick, fast setting resin. And then I'll go in with the Resin Pro and yeah, do some more inks. I'm going to leave that one there. I'm so excited to have a look at these. I'm proper, proper excited. I'm hoping I've mixed it right. I should have done. I measured right. And yeah, I just cannot wait to see what they look like. So it is the next day. Ah, so excited. So the resin, a resin pro takes around 24 to 48 hours to dry completely. I felt like this actually cured last night, but yeah, you don't want to risk touching it too soon, but it has been 24 hours. So I'm going in. I cannot wait a single second longer. So for this, I'm just going to pull the sides away. Oh my goodness. I am so excited. I cannot tell you how excited I am. If oh, if this turns out the way I'm hoping it's going to turn out. Ugh. Get it out, Claire. Get it out. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. How stunning is that? It literally, oh, it's so beautiful. I'm so happy. I actually was expecting to see a bit more clear resin, but it really has all blended. And even the back, I mean, look at the back. I actually don't know if I prefer the back or the front, but the front looks like much more of a unicorn party. <laughs> and the back is just wow. I can see some air bubbles in this and it really is where I just didn't take the time to get rid of them. I mean, they are minuscule, really hard to see. You probably wouldn't be able to see it looking at it. There's a couple of ways you can get rid of them. You can sand the whole thing down and work your way up to a super, like a, a 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 sandpaper and get rid of those and then give it a top coat of resin. Um, I am probably going to just give it a top coat of resin. <laughs> and just see what that comes out like but I think you'll agree it pretty much looks like 50 unicorns having a party I am so in love with it oh gosh I'm so excited to do more piece is definitely more saturated than I was expecting it to be if that's the right word is that the right word in the resin world let me know I'm new to it so yeah it's really saturated and by that I mean I was expecting to see some more clear resin but I love it. I love it all the same. It's absolutely gorgeous. Oh, anyway, so what I did with, I had a little bit of leftover resin and I just kind of like flew behind me and just threw it into some molds that I've got just sitting there. And I just threw it in and I just did a C for my name. But the difference being this resin had been sitting there for about half an hour and I really didn't know what to do with it. And what that resulted in, which is what I'm trying to explain it's not so saturated. So I think because the resin on this one was very, very old ink, it wasn't fresh. So it had been sitting there quite a while. The ink didn't just fly in and saturate every last centimeter, millimeter of resin. So you've got this clear effect. If I can zoom in, you've got this kind of clear effect with the resin drops coming through love this look i think this is the look i'm gonna try and go for next time i do some resin so you can see all around the edge there's big gaps of clear this is what i love 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 so yeah let me know which one you prefer do you prefer one that's got some kind of clearness to it or one that is completely saturated like this unicorn party let me know in the comments down below so I am going to stop that video right there. If I could play disaster movie music, I would play disaster movie music. Okay, seriously, big mistake. I put, you saw me put the wooden letters in, huge mistake. Uh, yeah. So we had my first resin explosion. I thought I would share this all with you. I'm going to zoom out a little bit so you can see the actual damage on. I mean, firstly, stunning piece, right? Secondly, can you see those? Can you see that? 
yeah absolute mammoth fail so if you guys can learn from me i am a beginner i've said it a million times i've only been doing resin a couple of months so i don't fully expect to be good you know i'm still learning basically i put the wooden letters in using uv resin my first mistake my second mistake was not curing the wood um not sealing the wood so these were just craft scrabble letters which i didn't seal which meant the air bubbles had full control to just keep flying out and that resulted oh look at this look at this that resulted in a complete and utter blowout it blew out the sides it blew out the top and it's just one complete beautiful though beautiful mess Crafty even came floating to the top when I walked over and I was like, oh, what's happened? Oh my God, what's happened? So yeah, it was piping hot, see, like really hot, way hotter than the other one. And I knew straight away it had been a complete disaster. The resin cured beautifully. <laughs> the resin was the only good thing about this. I didn't seal the wood. So the wood just blew the whole thing out. Look at this. I just felt absolutely devastated. It's like a complete waste of resin. I'm so sorry, Resin Pro. And a complete waste of alcohol ink. But there is salvation in this. So, I got in touch with somebody through my Instagram called The Beard Times 16 So, he has also got a YouTube channel. He does a lot of woodwork, wood carving, um, wood turning on the lathe. And I know that a lot of talented woodworkers do love a bit of resin. So I'm going to send this to him and he is going to try and salvage it somehow. If he can't, he can't. But if he can, keep an eye out. I'm going to put a link to his channel in the description box below. Go check out his channel. And you might even see this popping up. That's it from me, my lovely lot. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I hope you've really enjoyed this video. And I hope you've learned from it as well. This is definitely something <laughs> worth trying if you want to get into resin it's just stunning absolutely stunning yep and also my mistake so i hope you can learn from this one too don't follow me <laughs> i will see you all in the next video if you like this video you know what you've got to do give me a thumbs up and actually just comment down below you know i love hearing from you all i do reply to every single comment on my youtube because you know if it wasn't for you guys i wouldn't be here so i appreciate you all Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.